just really how much of an impact a simple thing like a second hand pram, a second hand you know, car seat really did impact me. So um, it all started um, in 2009. Um, there was five mums. They um, had just had babies and they were uh, living in St Kilda. And um, they had, their babies had grown out of some of their, their newborn stuff, as babies do. They grow really quickly. And um, so Jessica, who's now our CEO, she asked her maternal and child health nurse if she um, could use them or give them to someone else. And she said, oh yeah, just chuck them in the photocopy room. Uh, there's, uh, there's other clothes in there. So um, when Jessica went in, there were just piles of clothes. And she, so she decided to get her friends together and she, they cleaned them, they packaged them, and um, they, they gave them back to the maternal child health nurse. And um, she was then able to hand them out. And from there, it really started from there. Hi, my name's Lisa. Um, I volunteer at St Kilda Mums twice a week. Um, I started volunteering when I left my job and felt that I really wanted to give back to the community so I came here and was completely overwhelmed by just the scope of the business and how enormous it is and how much need there is for volunteers here. Um, every Monday I come in and I volunteers in prams as a tinkerer so what we do the prams will come through, we wash them, we safety check them, make sure they're all um, the brakes are working, all the um, mechanisms are right and that they're safe to, to take out to people, then we make sure that they look beautiful. I think I found the biggest thing I found here is um, just how many volunteers we need compared to what we have. We have a lot of corporates come in, like the guys out here from, um, from you know, corporate groups. But as far as everyday volunteers, people that are here, you know, one or two days a week, or, it's probably not as many as people think, I would say. So Kilda Mums has been absolutely amazing for the support for me, um, the support to be able to provide my son the best possibility and future that he could have, especially earlier on in the piece. I um, came out of a relationship, 15 days later I found out I was pregnant and was going through a whole transition of where I was, all the things I needed to buy um, and everything like that. So I linked in with an agency of Child First. Child First um, knew about St Kilda Mums and um, when it was close time to the birth, they actually sort of got in touch with the little mums. I received a pram, um, a cot, car seat, all those kind of things that I never could have afforded prior to his birth um, due to our payments not going up until 12 weeks after he's born. So I wouldn't have been able to pay for that kind of stuff because obviously I had rent, all that kind of stuff that was my normal income, but let alone bringing up a son into the world. So for me, it was really, life-changing. Um, it gave me my independence that I knew I could go out in the pram and stuff like that, um, especially having a caesarean. Um, the pram was my lifeline for that long because I wasn't able to drive in that period. You don't realise at all how expensive raising a child is and just that first you know, eight weeks of all, everything that child needs, there's millions of things that you forget along the way. Um, and as a mum, I didn't realise how much I really needed until it, I'm in the moment doing it and going, I need that, I need that kind of stuff. And that's where the secure mums hampers were brilliant. It's so hard for mums to ask for help because they don't know how they don't want to be seen as a failure. And a foundation like this that doesn't judge whatsoever is absolutely a core that it's easy to access the stuff, you feel absolutely overwhelmed with what you provided that lasts for 12 months with their packs.
you'll see that when you walk around. Everyone here is here for the same common goal, and we all want to, want to help people. So um, it's a very happy place to, to work because everyone's here because they want to be here, and it's great. All right, so I'm packing up toy bags. Um, that's the, the thing that I focus on here at St Kilda Mums. Uh, basically, we try to ensure that we are giving um, as many opportunities we, as we can for, for kids to play, to um, have things that they can use for their development and all that sort of thing as well. So it's, it's you know, a win-win from both sides. But from a recipient's perspective, toys are probably the last thing on the list that they're thinking about when they need to provide for their family. I mean, obviously, providing their child with a safe place to sleep um, with the necessities like nappies, clothes, etc., etc. So toys are probably not at the top of the list. But we, um, we often get feedback about how vital um, toys and books and games are to the recipients. Um, we had feedback from one father who came, who was the recipient of, of some items from us, and it stuck with me because he said, I opened up this bag and I was able to read my child a good night story and I was able to then in the morning give her um, some things to play with and she had a teddy that she could go to bed with. And I think that sort of thing, it just makes it all worthwhile when you know that that's the, the level of joy that is um, sort of at the other end of the, of the chain. I mean, we see this and then knowing what happens at the other end is amazing.